hello guys welcome back let's go and understand today a uh, weekly contest right so this is our uh, late code uh, question and uh, today is monday but uh, yesterday we have seen the late code question contest that is comes always on the weekly right so must uh, try by yourself these questions because this will really help you for the interview first perspective right so the first question is a little easy right so that we are going to discuss right and uh, after that uh, you will ping me uh, you will do comment let me know if you like this video and you want more videos like this okay so let's understand the question first so question is 3114 and saying let us time you can obtain after replacing the character right so let's read the uh, you can say statement and then we'll try to understand what it is saying the question right so the question is saying you are given a string s representing a 12 hour format where some of the digits possibly replaced with question mark right ask question mark so 12 hour time format as hhmm right so means first will come hours into digit and then minutes in two digits right where hours is 00211 right and mm means months are between 00 and 59 sorry uh, minutes are between 00 and 59 so the earliest 12 hour time is what 0000 right and the latest is uh, before that right 1 minute ago 1159 right so this is the earliest so you have you have to replace all uh, question mark character in s right what you have to do you have to replace all the question mark in s with digits such that we obtained by a resulting string in a you can say as a valid 12 format timeline and the latest possible uh, whatever will have that so we will return the resulting string based on that means what you have to do we will replace all the question mark in the string with a digit such that the time we obtained by resulting string uh, is a valid 12 hour format and is the latest possible right let's suppose we have given this example where we have given a string s equal to what we have given first it is given one and other it is given question mark right and then what we have given now we will go to the minute right so first it is coming question mark and then it is coming four right so how we are going to add there right so what we have to do we have to replace the the these values right this question mark right that comes in the string with with what we have to do with the digit such that the time we obtain by resulting the string is valid 12 hour format right so it should come 12 hour format like the answer let's suppose we have 1154 right so if the quest if the digit is question uh, mark right we have to replace with some characters right and uh, those character will be the latest one let's suppose right so it is coming what one then after one so if already the first digit is like for the hh right for the hh if you see here so if already h having data not zero but one right it means if this is zero the possibility we can put from what one to nine correct but if we have already on the first place first digit then what we have only one option we have we have to put one right like that we have to think let's suppose uh, and for the same uh, for the first question mark right we have to find the latest one right so find the latest uh, if mm contains first digit as a question mark right and there is some digit like four or something that we have given here right so there is a chance to find the latest one is we will start from the 9 right because uh, it will come uh, sorry not 9 sorry uh, like 5 right 5 and uh, this will the latest digit right so just think about so if, uh, after the 54 50 59 right the next digit will come so this will be because your latest will be 5 here and if you think uh, for this one h right it will come like that okay next let's suppose we have hh again and mm again right so in this case what i'm saying if we have zero right so we have given in the second example zero and then the question mark right and uh, here it is given 5 uh, and the question mark right 
so first understand about the edges so what we have hs we have zero and question mark right so what we will do because h is already zero at the first place here so the chances of this one right it it is happening for the latest will come what it from the nine right it should be the nine latest should be the nine okay now now because the first place is zero it is not like one if it is one so we cannot go more than 11 right but it is zero so we can go maximum what latest we can go nine okay and from here we have we, we can put the latest one we have already have five right so on this digit we can put what zero to nine right we can put but the latest in is what nine so that is why it is 59 i think you got it right so if you have any doubt please ping me in the comment box i'll uh, explain there okay let's understand the question that uh, sorry uh, solution answer here so we have given the string s we have given right so first of all we will convert into two care right so two care we have a string method in which uh, through that we can move uh, characters into character array right all the, of the string so from the string characters we will move into character array that we can name as time array okay then we will check at the index first that we were talking about like we have h h then what we have uh, m m okay so the first character let's suppose will start from here right so this is the first character so there was two possibility was there either it have zero or either it has one so if if it is has zero so the next value that comes for the h right uh, let's suppose it come but 9 will be the latest one but if it is contains already one so the max latest value will be one right so if this is having the question mark right so there is a possibility if it is a question mark right so there is a possibility if it the next value time at one contains the question mark right the time it is saying like if the first digit itself having question mark right then what we will do then we'll uh, store at this value what we will store we have to check the next value right for this value we have to check the uh, previous h right uh, sorry next h we will check right how will check if time at one having the question mark right or if it is less than equal to two right then we will put definitely what one because if it is less than two means what either it is one or zero right so if we have h and h so for this h we have either one or zero right this is saying or this is already question mark right so what we can put if this is one then what will happen we can put here one right or if it is zero then we, we can put what one so maximum we can uh, we can have the latest one is these two only right so we can put one only so there is chances of having uh you can say h is one only okay or either we'll put zero because if more than two means either we have two or maybe any other numbers right two to uh, nine we can say so the previous value will become what zero right so either the possibility is this one or either the possibility is this one we have two to nine it will have before zero right so this will have hh and hh okay only these two possibilities there so for that we will use this one right otherwise you know what we have to do we have to put either one or nine right like that we will do now think about uh, uh sorry this was uh, for that one okay now we'll think about the mm right so for the mm uh sorry we have h h and mm now we'll think about this value okay so we have already see if it is having one right uh, let's suppose the first character itself having one so if have either this value have one right or zero so we have already seen about the question mark if this is the question mark then it is having the question mark right like this example you can say okay so what will happen if this is one already so for this value we can put what what we can put we have to check uh, sorry for this value to put we have to check this value if it is zero then put we can put what two to nine right uh, otherwise it what will we put we will put uh, one maximum or zero right 
you can put what the latest one will be work one one only right so that is why we'll say if it is having one value then what we will do if it is equal to this then you will put one only because there is no chance maximum will be 11 not the 12 right so this will 11 otherwise what we will put put if it is 0 then maximum will be 9 right similarly we'll go for uh, the if having the question mark then we'll put 5 if the yeah, having the question mark we will put 9 so this is the latest one and then we will finally return the time uh, that we have like this let's suppose uh, that we have uh, given answer question is what uh, we have one question mark and question mark 4 so we'll get 1154 like this right so thank you guys thank you guys for watching this video please let me know if you have any doubt about this problem right and thank you for watching this video and let me know if you want uh, uh, other questions of the weekly contest so please ping me in the comment box so i'll uh, start working on thank you